Hi everybody, I'm John Bielfus, executive chef of Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse in the heart of beautiful Owasso, Michigan. Today is July 20, 2020, like three twenties, uh, right in the heart of our damn pandemic. And I'm unemployed because we're closed. So I'm making food videos for you. And today I've got one of our very favorite family recipes, Bucatini al Amatuciana a very simple and very delicious Italian dish from Rome. Let's get right in the kitchen and get started. Here's everything you're gonna need to make. Bucatini al Amatriciana. I've got one pound of bucatini. I've got four ounces of diced guanciale or pancetta. I've got one medium red onion, minced. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of red pepper flake. You could add more or less, depending on how spicy you might like it. I've got a 28 ounce can of good quality crushed tomatoes. I've got a 14 ounce can of good quality diced tomatoes and a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano to finish it off. So let me tell you about the meat choices for Bucatini al Amatriciana. The authentic way to go is guanciale. Guanciale is an Italian unsmoked jowl bacon. It has a unique flavor that really adds a neat dimension to this dish. But if you can't get your hands on that, Pancetta is a great substitute. It's also an Italian unsmoked bacon from pork belly, like American uh, bacon, just unsmoked. Either way you go, it's going to be awesome. We're going to start the sauce by putting just a little tiny bit of olive oil in the pan just to help the guanciale get started. And we're going to want to render this guanciale over as low heat as we can get. I'm going to start to render the fat on this guanciale before I put the pasta in the water. It takes a little bit of time to render the fat out of the guanciale, and I don't want the pasta done before it's ready. Now that's rendering a lot of its fat. It's got a ways to go here because we want the uh, guanciale to be crunchy in the finished product and all the fat that we can render to go into the sauce. One of the great things about this dish is the crunchy bites of guanciale that we add back in right at the end. Now those look fully rendered and brown and crunchy the way I like them. So we're gonna remove them from the pan and add our onions. I know, I said I wasn't gonna do anything controversial. And then I go ahead and put red onions in Bucatini al Amatuciana. There's a huge controversy about that in Rome. Some people swear you cannot put red onions in it. Some people swear you have to. I like red onions, so in my recipe there's red onion. So I removed the guanciale from the pot and I've added my red onions. I'm going to add a good bunch of red pepper flakes. I like it a little spicy and a nice pinch of salt. I'm going to stir that all around. I'm going to let that cook until the onions start to get translucent. That's been about three minutes now. The onions are looking about right. I'm going to go ahead and add our tomatoes. Give that a good stir. This dish is most commonly made with just the crushed tomatoes. I like a little texture, that's why I add the diced tomatoes. Now we're gonna let this simmer over a medium low heat for about five minutes until it thickens up just slightly. Meanwhile, I'm gonna cook the bucatini according to the instructions on the box. This box says seven minutes. I'm gonna go six minutes because it's gonna finish in the sauce. And I've added two tablespoons of salt to the water to make it taste like the seed. If you've never used bucatini, it's like a thick spaghetti with a hole all the way through it. You could use just thick spaghetti or any spaghetti or really any pasta works wonderfully with this sauce. Now the sauce has been cooking for about five minutes. It looks just like I would like it to. I'm gonna turn off the burner and wait for the pasta. And before we add the pasta, just wanna taste for salt. Well, I'm gonna add just a little bit. That's been six minutes now on the pasta. I've added our guanciale back in and I'm gonna add the pasta. Turn the burner back on to low. Man, that looks awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it. And there's a beautiful bowl of Bucatini al Amatriciana. We're just gonna to top it with a little Parmesan. Ooh, that looks good. 
Well, thanks for watching another exciting episode of Scratch Cook with John. Totally unprofessional food videos. I sure hope you try this recipe. I know you'll enjoy it and we'll see you again soon.